In this video, we will look at three examples of determining the intercepts of lines, and then also describe the behavior of the linear function as increasing, decreasing, constant, or none of the above. For a quick review, a function is increasing if as the inputs or x values increase, the outputs or y values also increase, which means the graph goes up from left to right. A function is decreasing if as the inputs or x values increase, the outputs or y values decrease, which means the graph goes down from left to right. And then finally, a function is constant if as the inputs or x values increase, the outputs or y values remain the same or are constant. In this case, the graph is a horizontal line. So going back to our first example, notice how the line is going uphill from left to right, and therefore the linear function is increasing. And now let's determine the intercepts. The line intersects the vertical axis at this point, which is the vertical intercept, and the line intersects the horizontal axis at this point, which is the horizontal intercept. And now let's determine the ordered pair for each point. Remember, every ordered pair is in the form of the input comma the output, or often x comma y. So to determine the input or x value, from this point we go straight to the horizontal axis, which is where the input or x value is zero. So the first value of the ordered pair is zero. And because the point is on the vertical axis, we can see the output or y value is negative four. The ordered pair for the vertical intercept is zero comma negative four. Any vertical intercept or any point on the vertical axis will always have an input or x value of zero. And now for the horizontal intercept, we can see that the x value or input is positive eight because the point is on the horizontal axis. And to find the output or y value, we can move horizontally to the vertical axis and see this is where y is equal to zero or where the output is zero. The order pair is eight comma zero for the horizontal intercept. For any horizontal intercept or x-intercept, the output or the y value is always zero. For this line, notice from left to right, the line is going downhill, and therefore the linear function is decreasing. Notice this line passes through the origin, which is the intersection of the horizontal and vertical axes, or the x and y axes, and therefore the vertical and horizontal intercept is the same in this case, the ordered pair for the origin is zero comma zero. Let's take a look at one more example. Notice here we have a horizontal line, and therefore we have a constant linear function. We can also say this is a constant function because as the inputs increase, the outputs or y values remain constant at a value of eight. The line intersects the vertical axis at this point here, which is the vertical intercept. Notice how it does not intersect the horizontal axis or x-axis, and therefore there is no horizontal intercept, and therefore we enter D and E for the horizontal intercept. And now let's find the ordered pair for the vertical intercept. We have the input comma the output, or the x-coordinate comma the y-coordinate. Any point on the vertical axis will have an input or x-value of zero. We can determine that by going directly to the horizontal axis from this point, and notice how this is where the input or x value is zero. And because the point is on the vertical axis, we know the output or y value must be eight. The ordered pair for the vertical intercept is zero comma eight. I hope you found this helpful.